What is going on, E Nation Army? This is the Impress 2000 Army, the original Impress 2000 YouTube channel here, and welcome back to yet another diecast review. And this diecast review is going to be on one of the best Exalted Liveries, one of the best William Byron paint schemes, one of the best NASCAR liveries of 2019. It is William Byron's 2019 Exalta Flames of Independence Chevy Camaro Z01 from Hendrick Motorsports. A fan favorite. Even though it was canceled in the Gold Series, but I'm so glad this was made exclusively in NASCAR Authentics. Like, oh my god, this, this car is beautiful. Holy, you know what? I'm just going to do a review before I go too crazy. Um, so here we got the number 24, Hertz, Exalta, American Ethanol, Liberty University, ew, uh, Valvoline, um, you got William Byron's name, you got Exalta, Freightliner, Mac Tool, Siemens, Universe, NASCAR Salutes, because Byron ran this at the 2019 Coke Zero Sugar 400 and also Homestead, and you got the 2019 Contingency Sponsors, and on the hood, you got Exalta, you got the Chevy Bowtie logo, very pointy Camaro. Uh, number 24, Z01, Hendrick Motorsports. Same side as the left. At the back bumper, you got the Chevy Bowtie logo. Um, 24, Exalta Coding Systems, Camaro, Z01, Valvoline. You got the rear bumper camera. And on the roof, you got 24. Exalta Coding Systems and <coughs> on the deck lid you got the Exalta logo. Oh my god, this car is so gorgeous. Like, it is such a gorgeous livery. Name I don't know what I'm saying. Like, how 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 do you not like this car? It is literally a red, white, and blue car in flames. It's gorgeous. Um for some reason, I used to think that this car gave me, like, Pepsi vibes. Um, three and a half years later, I don't see why it reminded me of, like, Pepsi. The colors, I don't, I don't think I see that way now. But who cares? It's still such an amazing car. Like, I love how the main primary color of the car is white. But then, I love how, like, the designing of the flames... It's just gorgeous. Like I love how, like the red and red is translated to blue. No, blue translated to red, and now it's all red, all over back here. And I love how it's the same way on the roof as well. Eh, Twenty-four numbers like a bit too small, but that's okay. I love how like it's half white and half blue. I love how the flames are still here too. Such a badass car. Actually, which one's the main primary color? White or red and blue? I don't know, but man, this car is gorgeous. I uh, got the black spoiler. You also got a black splitter. Like, wow, a little 360 of this car one more time. Just look at this car, it's so gorgeous. I'm actually, I'm so glad that there is a diecast of it, whether it's like Authentics exclusive or something. Um, so yeah, I, this is just, I don't know what else they're just saying. I know I'm repeating myself and I apologize, but can you blame me? This car's gorgeous for crying out loud. Um, so yeah, once again, Byron ran this car for two races. Um, finished second at the 2019 Coke Zero Sugar 400, ran at a homestead one more time because it was a fan favorite. Not sure where it finished. And it's fucking criminal that this livery did not come back in 2020. And after that, how criminal. <sighs> but hey, at least this scheme existed. And if you guys have it in diecast, y'all are lucky. Consider yourselves lucky. I'm lucky to have this car. So yeah. Anyway, that's going to do it for another diecast review. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this diecast review. This is the Impress 2000. I'm the original Impress 2000 YouTube channel. Signing off. Goodbye, everybody.